hello. Welcome to the beautiful PA countryside on an extremely warm July day. But it's all okay due to this 1938 Bugatti Type 57 Stelvio by Gangloff. This particular example is really special in that it is known to be an all black car from the factory. It retains its original interior for the most part. Um, and the car was subsequently owned by the fifth Earl of Howe, Francis Kurtzon, who was also a race winning driver in period, both Le Mans and Formula One. Uh, but this car just came in. We haven't had a chance to do complete research on it. And once we do, I think we'll find out some really extraordinary things about it. But let's take a walk around. You can see as a later car, the headlights are in the fenders, which is arguably more pretty to some. Um, gives it a more streamlined look. I think it looks so sinister with the dark red wheels to match the interior. I like the asymmetry of the spare wheel on the fender. I think that's lovely. And the rake of this windshield is just incredible. It's, it's exactly the way you want it to be in every way. Nice rakish design on what is actually a very late Type 57 Bugatti. With them making a little over 800 examples, this car represents what you want to see. Early examples tend to be a little more on the frumpy side, if you will. And by the time that later designs came out from Gangloff, who was then the factory coach builder with this more standard designs, they did things like these pontoon fenders and this sort of swooping turtle deck that just works its way into the body so nicely. All things considered, this is a really special example, and, and not just because of the way it looks, but the history is a very big deal. And in fact, this car, when it was on the assembly line, was right next to an Adelante, a very special and coveted Bugatti. And as the story goes, there was actually an engine swap. And this car received a supercharged engine shortly after production that stayed with the car up until, I would say, around 2010, 2011, when a purveyor of Bugattis in Europe acquired the car and the Adelante and put everything back to the way it was supposed to be. So quite a story, lots to discover, but we're thrilled to have it here, offer it for sale for the first time in many years. And of course, take it for a spin. So I've, I've had the privilege of driving a few other Bugattis in the past and my initial impressions of this car after driving it a little bit are that someone spent quite a bit of money making sure that you turn that key and it works as good as it possibly can. The responsiveness is incredible. The handling is tight and the power, you feel that torque, which is what you're supposed to have from a nice straight eight twin cam. I mean, it's just, it's everything I had hoped in a Bugatti experience. And it, it feels capable and usable, yet reliable. You know, old cars always get such a bad rap in general because people think you need to have a mechanic on staff to own a car like this, and it's just not the case. If you spend the money right the very first time where you buy a really great car initially, these are things that you generally don't have to worry about. Listen to that. What a car. Does everything it's supposed to do.